So we're asked in this problem to determine if lines are parallel using their slopes and y-intercepts again, but in this case we're looking at vertical and horizontal lines. Now this is a little bit different because often with vertical lines we're not going to have a y-intercept uh, because the lines are vertical and unless it's the y-axis and, and then the, the y-intercept is all real numbers because it doesn't matter where you go it's going to be on the y-axis it's not going to be on the y-axis so if it's horizontal we need to make sure that the numbers that they're equaling are different if it's vertical we we need to make sure that the numbers are, are different that x equals so this first one since we have y equals 8 and y equals negative 6 those are horizontal lines and because it's just y equals some value and the values are different so we know that these lines are parallel now that said let's go ahead and examine their y-intercept so with y equals 8 the y-intercept is 0 8 and with y equals negative 6 the y-intercept is 0 negative 6 and we know since they're horizontal the slope equals 0 <clears throat> so they have different y-intercepts and the same slope that verifies that these are parallel and technically let's go ahead and add this in here parallel horizontal lines and if we graphed them I'm not going to you know make an accurate scale here but we'd have y equals 8 somewhere up here is a horizontal line and y equals negative 6 somewhere down here is a horizontal line and they are parallel all horizontal lines are parallel unless they represent the same line and in that case <clears throat> they would be equal to the same number. Now with x equals 1 and x equals negative 5, there is no y-intercept. Let's go ahead and draw just a sketch over here. x equals 1, that's a vertical line at x equals 1. And x equals negative 5, that's a vertical line at x equals negative 5. So just graphing them, we know they're vertical and we know that because they're vertical and they're not the same line that they are parallel so the slope in each case is undefined and another way of saying they equal a different value is instead of looking at the y-intercept when it's a vertical line we'll look at the x-intercept so in this case the x-intercept is 1 0 and over here the x-intercept is negative 5, 0. So since they have the same slope and different x-intercepts, we know that the lines are parallel.